Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I will go with present the second topic, which is analysis of ascorbic acid in drink using UV visible spectrophotometers. Uh, ascorbic acid, known as vitamin C, is the most important component of food juice and is an essential ingredient of antioxidant. The presence of this organic acid plays a role important role in human health and shelf life of the product. UV visible spectroscopy or spectrophotometry is a quantitative technique used to measure how much light a chemical absorbs. This is done by measuring the light intensity passing through the sample compared to the light intensity passing through a reference sample of blank. The principle of UV visible spectroscopy is based on the absorption of ultraviolet or visible light by compound, producing different spectra than the spectrophotometer would by passing a light bulb uh, through a sample to measure the light intensity of the sample. Next, for the methodology for the second topic, which is about the ascorbic acid and also about the UV visible spectrophotometry. For the methodology, we have two parts, which is the titration method and also the UV spectrophotometry method. For the first part, which is the titration method, uh, the first thing that we do is for volumetric analysis for the determination of vitamin C, which is the ascorbic acid, a standard solution of potassium iodide was used. Each of the selected fruit juice samples was pipette into a conical flask, which is 10 ml. In the conical flask, 5 ml of 0.2 molar potassium iodide, 2.5 ml of 1 molar HCl, which is the hydrochloric acid, and a few drops of starch solutions were added. The solution was then titrated against a standard solution of 0.01 molar, potassium iodide until a dark blue color appeared. For the second method, which is the UV spectrophotometric method, firstly, standard solution of ascorbic acid were prepared within the sample range between 1 to 100 mg per liter. 0.01 gram of ascorbic acid was dissolved in a small amount of 0.5% oxalic acid solution and completed with distilled water to obtain a concentration of 100 mg per L. The solution of chromogenic agent with 100 mg per L concentration was prepared by dissolving previously 0.01 gram of potassium permanganate in 5 molar solution of sulfuric acid in 100 ml volumetric flask and completed to the mark with distilled water. 1 ml of chromogenic agent was added in a series of 10 ml of standard solution with different concentration of ascorbic acid. After 5 minutes was performed, the absorbance measurement of each solution at 530 nanometer against black. The important and uh, or the uh, added information is that the potassium permanganate as chromogenic reagent and the reduction, reduction of absorbent measure when potassium permanganate solution react with ascorbic acid solution is in acidic medium. Hi, so now I will explain about the analysis part. So for the analysis part, Measurement of vitamin C in the commercial fruit juices were carried out with three replications and presented as mean, max, mean, standard deviation, confidence interval, and also coefficient of variation. And the comparison of two methods used for determination of ascorbic acid content in fruit juices, sample was done by PET sample t-test for equal means of vitamin C content. A p-value which is 0 0.05 under 0 0.05 was considered st as statistically significant. So as you can see in the table there, it shows um, the pH data and the table and the graph there shows the vitamin C content in commercial fruit juices determined by volumetric and spectrophotometric methods. And for the figure one, the calibration, calibration curve picture, it shows that the calibration curve for determination of vitamin C content which is um, the concentration of the ascorbic acid versus the absorbance. 
So as you can see there, the value get is 0 0.9876, the value. So that's all from us for the analysis part. Thank you. Hello again. So lastly, for the conclusion, we can conclude that fruit juices ascorbic acid level has a significant impact on human health and is used as a quality indicator. Consequently, it is crucial to properly quantify the amount of vitamin C that is present in fruit juices. The obtained results show that the vitamin C concentration of the commercial fruit juices fruit juice samples and the study was much higher which is almost three times more than those makers had claimed on the labels. Uh, based on other studies as well as on the results of the current study, we suggest uh, the spectrophotometric method as a reliable and simple method for rapid determination of vitamin C content in industrial fruit juices. Uh, this method uh, could be applicable for determination of vitamin C concentration in fruit juices if we take into account and remove all interferences such as uh, the juice color, reducing sugars and other reducing substances. So that is all from us. Thank you.